cover this because it's important not just to look back, but to look forward to stories that have happened, will happen, and are happening right now. More than two years since Trump left office, the facts still don't drive journalism, as Colby pointed out. It's more important than ever. Consider the claim just recently by Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, who says the Ohio train derailment is all Donald Trump's fault because the former president loosened rail regulations while in office. One thing he could do is uh, uh, express support for reversing the deregulation uh, that uh, happened on his watch. I heard him say he had nothing to do with it, even though it was in his administration. But he's wrong. And it's not us saying that. It's actually the Washington Post. An analysis by Glenn Kessler found the rollback of regulations cannot be blamed for the Ohio train wreck. He broke down six different issues and said they all have very little or no relevance to the derailment, most notably a rule requiring electronically controlled brakes. Even the head of the NTSB noted the regulation would not have applied to the Norfolk Southern train that derailed. On the ground in Ohio, independent researchers are doing their own air and water quality tests. They, they have very real concerns that the EPA tests may not be accurate or testing for the right stuff. Orhe Ventura, News Nation's newest correspondent, is in East Palestine with us tonight. How widespread is this testing right now, Orhe? So we're seeing, Leland, as we're, de we're seeing different groups doing independent testing. We met with a group of researchers from per uh, Purdue who came down, are doing tests, and what they were telling, uh, telling News Nation is what they are finding is not what the EPA is reporting to the public. They're saying that, that the soil is very contaminated, but they're going to be taking the, the rest of the results back to Purdue and pu pulling out a full report for the public. The big thing here, Leland, is that when I speak with the residents here, they don't trust any federal or local officials. Uh, officials continue to say every day that the water is safe, the oil is safe, but what they are telling us is that they're continuing to suffer from symptoms. We've actually been in interviewing residents that live near the train derailment who have yet to return home and are basically living in hotels because they say it's still unsafe to return back. The EPA works for the government and, you know, Norfolk is part, in part, owned by politicians. So what's the point? I don't trust them. And Leland, that, that's, that's generally the kind of mood that we're getting yeah. from residents now. A lot of those residents who are in hotels right now waiting to get back home, uh, they were telling us that they were being reimbursed by Norfolk Southern. Those reimbursements have stopped and now they are paying out of pocket and they're looking for more answers from federal officials. EPA telling us as well that over the weekend, they surveyed over 350 homes here. Now, today we did press EPA officials and say, when can they make those public health surveys public? So at least the residents can see the common trends and illnesses with other members of the community. But EPA is telling us that those uh, surveys will not be made public until they are all complete, but they didn't even give us any timeline on that either. It makes, makes the residents' skepticism at least understandable when you think about this. Norfolk Southern saying, hey, we don't need to continue to pay for these hotels because the water's clean and that our test, this is Norfolk Southern talking, says the water's Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.